Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of the Horde Rush- Oh, that's a lot of trees. But welcome to episode 3 of the Horde Rush series. And methinks we'll be following the general regimen that we have been for episodes 1 and 2, which is to quest during the first half of the day, or first third of the day, farm some resources for the second third of the day, and of course, spend the final third of the day trying to not get our booty eaten by zombies. Such is the life of we who try to survive. How's food and water looking? Well, water is fine. I'll turn this off for now. Chart meat, a few other things. We have to fill a chest up. And I appear to have planted a potato. Singular potato. You will be our lifeblood. Just not right now. Let's put this way, that way. Put the cobblestone back. Mm -hmm. Suppose we could put the cornmeal away as well. We don't need it right now. That should be enough for inventory clearing. Did I upgrade these? No, it's fine. We'll be fine. Try to clear out as many quests as we can while we have the time. Get some first aid bandages on our hotbar. Now we have to interact with that damnable wrecked again. Ugh, wrecked. What? It's locked. Oh. I guess I have to spend a little bit of time digging up the ground or something. I guess that's what we'll do. We'll ruin Rex's lawn while we're waiting. That's a pretty good uh, strategy. That's how we combat his pure assholishness. His undeniable douchebaggery. I think the trader opens at 6, so I think this is a good enough excuse to gather clay. We have an entire in-game hour to waste on. How's our wood looking? Do we have any wood? Did I put it in a chest? I think I have to farm some trees. That's probably why I planted some over there. Would be nice to be able to... Actually, can I make a forge? Forge. I can. All we need is a wood log. Which I think I can make if I just beat this tree down. Oh, we do have wood. It was just in my two slot on my hotbar. Didn't realize. Okay, let's make a log and craft a forge. The sooner we get that going, the better. What else do we need? Cobblestone rocks. Oh, it's back at the base. Well... We're just waiting anyway, so we'll go and get that. Here, cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. We're gonna turn you into something far more useful. Let's go ahead and raise this hatch so we don't get whacked in the back of the head while doing our work. Here it is, cobblestone. Craft one forge and then put the cobblestone right back in here, along with the bottle of acid. It's only gonna take a few seconds. Not too bad. Take a moment to upgrade this while we're waiting. Waste no time, waste no XP. I believe the forge just finished up, but that's okay. We'll finish upgrading this little bit here. I think we'd be able to handle most of the Horde Knight with just wood, but having the excess cobblestone is going to help a lot. Let's go ahead and do this number. You know what? Let's put a torch up here for no reason. Just want a torch not taking up my hotbar. Forge. Where, oh where, should the forge go? Should we put it near the back here? Probably. Here's what we'll do. We'll upgrade. Just a few blocks here, but the forge against, well, along this side here. There we go. Something like this. That works for me. We probably won't have too many cooking at the same time. After all, it requires wood and fuel. We don't have too much of that. We don't have much iron and clay to work with anyway. Actually, it says we have none. All right, it still has to cook. That's a whole thing. Makes me curious. Hatch. Iron hatches. Is it just... Forged iron, it is. It's the same in Darkness Falls. Neat. Can't craft an anvil. Too bad. Well, for now, I guess we'll turn it on and cook the vast majority of the iron. Roughly two-thirds of it should do. And we'll put in half a stack of clay. Well, half of what we have for clay. At some point, we'll come back and start crafting a little bit of forged iron to make better hatches. For now, we don't have to worry about it. Because at the moment, and we'll put our repair kits on the hotbar too, anything to clear more inventory space. For now, it is questing time. All right, wrecked. What kind of crap do you have to say to me this morning? What's your problem? You are my problem. Let's check out a job. 200 meters, we'll just start this. Don't even talk to him. Uninterested in your malarkey. Now we just gotta run our way through town. 140 meters to go. If I remember correctly, I inspect into clubs, right? Yes, now it looks like I'm stopping here. Four points should be more than enough. Certainly. Oh, we're already here. Check this mailbox. I already got this one. Must have had a other quest in this general area. Let's activate this. Ooh, a cement mixer. This might have forge ahead. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Bunch of actual trash. I think this mailbox gets reset. Yeah, yeah, it does. Can sell that and read this. Weave plant fibers into cloth. Eh, not particularly great. Takes too many plant fibers. It's a really excessive amount. Another forge ahead. Awesome. Oh, tier five stone ass. Don't mind if I do. Let me just unmodify this one. We'll swap that out. What are the odds? Still only has two modification slots on a tier 5, huh? 
interesting. Was it exqueezy? Where? Are you serious? Oh no, my frame rate. I think that scream actually counted too. Oh, my frame rate. Where are they? No? Is it a fake scream? I don't see any other screamers, so must have been fake. Works for me. Since it's clear, we'll start with the first floor. Um, can't get through there? Really? Can I just punch through this wall then? Yeah. Going off the beaten path. See, we have a crawler there and a construction man. We can handle that. Just fine. Easy peasy. Do love that XP. Check the special loot. Tier 5 Nuckies. Ooh. Nuckies. Yeah, they're only worth 30 dukes. Scrap them for the leather. Not specced into Nuckies this time. So, it's not our thing. They don't quite have enough range for a playthrough like this. I'll take that tire, though. That might be useful at some point. Eventually. Now, let's make our way to the second floor. But do doo Oh, this door is unlocked. We have nobody in the corners. Just... Huh, another crawler and one zombie. What a simple batch. Pretty easy POI so far. Is this considered cloth? Ooh, it is. It gives a lot. This is nice. An entire roll. Makes me curious. Wow, 100. What about the blocks beneath them? They have a similar texture. Can I also... No, that's just wood. Well, we tried. We damned our didst. How about the working stiff box? What do you have for me? Tools digest? I guess that's something. Hey, oh, I guess there's some zombie off in the corner here. Actually, I don't have to do that. There's a hole right over here. What's up, zombie? Who? What? Oh, sleeping construction workers. Sleeping on the job. It's all right, I'm a cool boss. I'll tell you, you can just keep sleeping there. Enjoy that extra time off. No, no, no. Don't get up on account of me. Well, there's that. Rather quick POI. I think we can do at least one more clear before we start. Farming for cobblestone. Bird's nest? Don't mind if I do. Free eggs. Gotta remember not to loot everything. Playing both vanilla and darkness falls at the same time can lead to a bit of confusion. Looting every single thing you find in darkness falls is a great idea. Looting everything you find in this can be a waste of time. Smells like dysentery. You smell like dysentery. Hunter's Journal 2. Do 10% more damage to wolves. Wait, is that the hunters? Hunters? What is that? Brick books? The Hunter's Journal. Oh, it's just anything to do with animals. Weird. I'll take the crafting skill magazine. Nah, I'll take the Hunter's Journal. What's next? Buried supplies 400 meters. Yeesh. We'll do the clear zombies at 470 meters. And because of the sheer distance, it might be in the last quest for the day. We'll see. Just gotta get my sprint on. Didn't I pick up things just to sell to him? Yeah, I did. Oh well, we'll just be stingy about what we pick up from here on out. We ignore all the random loot and things on the ground and beeline it straight to the objective and save ourselves a lot of chicken. Hold on, I see a chicken. Dead chicken. What was I saying? Time. We can save ourselves a lot of time if we just don't get, get distracted. Ooh, nest. Ooh, another nest. Look, they're just being presented to me every time I say something. Sometimes you can use the world constantly trying to counter you to your advantage. Damn, the sheer amount of hitching going on just from loading into a new area is insane. We're almost there. Bobcat bar? Guess there's no mailbox then. Too bad. Eh, I think we'll drop the gunpowder. We don't need it. Go and get it when we're ready. Let's go and activate this and try to clear it up quickly. Guess we'll enter into this little caged area. Sort of like a picnic spot. What are you doing here, businessman? Nice break after a long day's work? Is that what that is? Ooh, what? Two zombies this way? Okay. Good old bonking. Stay down. No, 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 no. Keep your privacy. It's fine. Actually, it's not fine. There's a toilet in here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take that toilet paper you just used. Desperate times. Where's this other zombie? Huh, right here. I just... Oh, I didn't mean to hit you in the knee there. Just trying to steal your curtains. Hope you don't mind. Look around here for some murky water. Beer. What does that sell for? 20? Nah, drop it. I hear another zombie, but I don't know where they are. Sounds like they're outside, maybe? Causing a scene. ATM. No, no. Not gonna take the time to beat it down. We need to be very considerate of the time that we spend and what we're spending it on. I hear a lot of zombies, actually. Ooh, coal. Put that in my campfire. Ooh, almost missed. Does sound like quite a batch out there. Ooh, bird's nest. Get them eggs. Tier 6 scrap leg armor. Don't mind if I do. Free stuff. We're just gonna let them keep grumbling. I think the end of the POI should be up here at the top. Yep, here's a bird. Dead bird, but a bird nonetheless. Who else is here? I see. Three dots. Seems like I can't eliminate them with a single power attack yet. But we're getting there. 
Slowly but surely. Actually, I gotta level up, so let's apply that to our Pummel Pete skill. Yeah, the good stuff. Medical journal, jar of honey, we'll be keeping that. Infections could be the end of this entire playthrough. Don't want it. Uh, better bone knife, I'll take that. Art of mining 2. Blade mods increase durability. Neat. It's a very specific effect. Mushrooms. Mm, I don't really need those as much as I need the seeds, which I don't think can be looted or crafted in this, unlike Darkness Falls. Wait, can they? Hold on, let me check. I probably don't have the... No, I don't have the capability. So I'll just drop them. Not concerned. What? Zombie from outside made his way all the way in. Look at you. How impressive. Now let's get out of here and head back to the base. What are you doing to that wall? It's all businessmen today. Must be some kind of convention. Let's run our way home. Is this oil? Eh, uh, what the? <laughs> Excuse me? Oil? We're gonna mark this. I think it just makes sense. Now we run our happy ass back home. Let's see, where's the sun? Above us. Surprising. But it's just vaguely past midday. So the rest of the day will be spent probably just collecting resources. We need more cobblestone. Never hurts to have more. We just had to get enough dukes to counteract our lack of food. Have to interact with the vending machine and get what we can. Art of Mining 4. Blackstrap Coffee. Which I don't think I've ever crafted once in my life. Poor, poor blackstrap coffee. So neglected. You know what? It's a little bit of coal here. And I'm actually going to collect some to put in our forge. You never go wrong with a little bit of excess resources. And this is far more efficient than wood. Palpably more. Take out one coal node and you'll never need burnable resources ever again. Most likely. Well, I got some gold. I must have gotten the Art of Mining book that affects that. I don't remember, but I do keep getting them. It's probably because I keep investing in Miner 69er and Motherload. I'm telling you, no matter your play style, you can never go wrong with investing in those. I think that should be enough coal for now. Don't want to spend too much time. As someone in my comments section had pointed out, you can track these nodes based on the color of them. Granted, most of them are just gray, but the coal ones are black which means they're easy to find. Oh boy, over encumbrance is wearing me down. Can I make a better club yet? Hope so. Club. Club. No, still tier one? Too bad. I was hopeful. Every little bit counts with this, because every night is a horde night, and I would prefer to have the strongest weapon I can at every moment. Here is my horrendous line of trees. Let's go ahead and run through this visual clutter. That's probably going to kill my frame rate when it's all grown up. All right, Recty Doodle Dandy. What do? I'll sell you goods. What do we get? Wood splitter mod already have it. This don't care. Duct tape couldn't hurt. Nine millimeter ammo, but I don't have a gun yet. Five hundred gunpowder. I think that would equate to fifty pipe bombs. Is that right? Let me check. Pipe bomb. Twelve gunpowder. Okay, never mind then. We'll just take the duct tape. No need to complicate it. Oh, we're finally here. Bicycle. Undeniably taking the bicycle. And I guess we'll take a peek at some of his other things. He's got a claw hammer. Now that is tempting. And a fire axe. Hmm. You know what? First things first, let's sell some things that we don't need. Wait, why is this bicycle red? It's got dye on it? What? Never seen that before. Does it always come with dye? Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see, what else do I have that's basically just sellables? Brass. I'm basically never going to craft my own ammo. So... Here you go, Wrecked. What dukes do we have? Let's now we don't have much food at the base, so let's take a peek at the vending machine. It's all drinks. And this one, food. We have 7,000 dukes. If we can, can we afford the claw hammer? Let me check. 2,800, let's do it. The fire axe, you know, it might be worth it. it. Doesn't have any good weapons, or books, or mods, or armor. So I think we really will be better off taking that fire axe. Thanks, Chief. All now, right, I never want to speak to you again. We have drinks. What we lack is food. So, we're going to buy some rations. Screw it. We'll get some salmon, too. Just buy everything. All the food. Leave the water alone for now. Who we? I am thoroughly over-encumbered at this point. But let's say, okay, we have to make do with what we have. I can't make any double pocket mods yet, so I don't even know if I can make a workbench. Nope. We have two more forge ahead before we can do that. It would be good to perhaps sneak in one more quest. But I don't know if we really have the time. We do need to get more cobblestone. This is fine. We can cook more water. That's a good idea. All right, we'll drink these two. Gotta top up. You know, I just did all of that with a bicycle in my inventory. Oh, very like me. I also have a claw hammer, which I guess... We have a fire axe and a claw hammer. We can remove the wood... From the hot bar, and the claw hammer can replace the dukes for now. Go ahead and set those in the first slot of the inventory and lock it. Let's take a moment to eat a little bit of food and put the rest in the chest. 
bars. The forge could definitely use a bit more fuel. So take half the coal, and we didn't get much iron. We have enough for one hatch, roughly. Let's put a little bit more in there. Yeah, that'll allow us to craft one hatch and repair it a few times. We simply need more. Oh, I should have sold that gold direct. Oh well. Let's put the tire away and the honey. We also have an entire stack of cloth. Put that in there. For now, we'll put the gold away. And while we're here, coal in here. Done. Now methinks it's a good idea to start digging. I need stone and clay and loads of it. Thought I saw a chicken. Oh, there it is. I think I can chase this thing down. Probably. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, 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 chicken. Come on. Just, just don't, nope, don't, don't go into the, the visual clutter. Where'd the chicken go? Where's the chicken? There it is. Come on. Come on, chicken. Stop running. Why are these things so much faster than me? This is insane. Come on, chicken. Come on. Yeah, you know what? I give up on the chicken. I need iron. <laughs> it's just an excuse to stop chasing the thing. Collect a little bit of iron so that we can put it in the forge and get ready to make more hatches. It's not a bad idea. It would be better if I could make more pickaxes or iron equipment, but I'm not that far in yet. Yeah, not even close. We would need another four books. It's not happening anytime soon. But we still need those hatches. So, here we are, dealing with that. Well, you know, again, I just chased something. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, you were stealthy as hell. I think I didn't catch an infection. That could have sucked. But I was just chasing a chicken, and again, I had a bicycle on my hotbar that I could have used at any point. And I guess I just decided not to. Why? Why am I like this? <laughs> Let's finish up beating up just this note of iron, and then probably shove it in the forge, getting it ready to cook things up, because it takes time. Let's get this bicycle out. Doesn't take gas or anything, so there's no reason not to. Ooh, bird's nest. Let's probably just eat those eggs for a while. Use that for my food. There's the chicken. Can I hit it with my bicycle? Do I have the, do I have the skill? Oh, yeah. yes, I do. Now we just collect it. Mmm, chimkin. Right our way back to the base. I'm not wearing any boots. That's uh, really awkward looking. It's just straight calf. And then some beefy calves. Damn. <laughs> Call me the chunk. What would it take to make some little booties? Some more cloth fragments? Sure, let's do it. A little bit of cloth. Take half a stack. Craft ourselves some. Padded booties, then put the rest away. Fill the forge up with iron. Where is it? Right here. Again, take most of the stag, but not all of it, just in case we need it. Where are the booties? Some good booties. We can craft all the forged iron that we can. Take what we have here and start crafting. Actually, can I just use iron or do I have to craft the hatch? Let's check. I have to craft the hatch. Understood. Hatch. Takes a minute 14. Or a minute 40. Yeah, minute 40. That is just a bit ridiculous. But okay. But while we're here, I think I'm going to seal up the back of this base. Let's go ahead and switch to the claw hammer. Actually, switch these two. Yeah, just two hits. Wonderful. But I'm going to upgrade everything here real quick. And then set up a back portion to this base. Because in the previous Horde Knight, they were running down this area and just attacking the back there. Which is far from bueno. I think I need more wood. Good thing I got a fire axe. A tree. I'm gonna hit you with my ass. Did you like that? That's a neat looking POI right back there to the left. I don't think I've seen that one before. I'm not running a compo pack. I should have. But I just kind of very quickly pieced together this playthrough. Wanted to make up for the lack of blaze of glory in the previous one. <laughs> Supposed to start in episode 105, and I died on 105. Rest in pasta. Shouldn't have to make any more building blocks for a while. Let's take this thing apart for a chance at... Mm, honey. Yeah, I got some. Neat. I also just finished crafting my iron hatch. I keep moving around while cutting trees because I'm also playing a <laughs> Darkness Falls series. Used to having to do that to continue to increase my athletics level. But this is vanilla. We don't need that business. We can stand still. We can be patient. Let's take down maybe two more trees and then finish building the back of that base. Timber. Ooh, level up. Oh wait, I had another level up before that? What the? Well, I guess we'll put a point in the mother load. Now that's done. Bubble Pete is finished. And everything else can be ignored. Which means... What is this? Increase attack speed for clubs and sledgehammers. That's tempting. Max is out of 10. You know what? It's not a bad idea. We'll end up getting a boost of 17%. Sure, we'll do that. Until we respec. Eventually, I think I'll be going for spears. Or just knives. Power attacking with a hunting knife will light a one shot, even some radiated later on in the game, because it has an excessive amount of critical damage. Sudden nurse, what are you doing out here? Silly Willy. 
Oh, that does feel a little bit faster. 10% makes a difference, even visually. Right, let's go ahead and seal all of this up. I'd rather the zombies just not mess with the rest of the base. I want them to go to the front every time. Every single time. You know what, let's fill up the top here too. Might as well. Oh no. <laughs> It's very slow placing the blocks compared to Darkness Falls. Let's go ahead and start upgrading from here. I think I only have another 300 cobblestone blocks, so we're not going to be able to upgrade all of this to cobblestone just yet. We're likely going to be stuck at the cobblestone tier for quite a while because getting Forge Ahead books is difficult. Until I can get an excess of levels and max out lockpicking and advanced engineering, they're going to be far and few between rare. Let's fill up this section as well. And without Forge Ahead, we are stuck without a cement mixer, which realistically is probably going to be the primary base resource for us, because concrete is far, far cheaper than steel. If we do steel, we have to be very selective on what we upgrade with it. Unlike what we did in the previous series, we can't just willy-nilly the entire base into steel. We gotta pick the pivotal parts, like the front end and the Probably first two blocks around the base, the entire outside. It just seems like the best bet. There we go. Now it might be time to start collecting more stone and clay. Which one do we have more of? Clay? Where's the stone? We need more stone. So be it. I'll start farming that and I'll get back to you when things start looking a little bit more red. So, we've farmed up the equivalent of about 4,000 cobblestone, roughly. We've got 3,000 of it still being crafted, which sets us ahead by quite a bit, really. A very sensible lump sum. And, is that a zombie? Does that sound like a zombie? No, I'm tripping. Just a bit. We're gonna take this hatch in the middle here and upgrade it. But I have a claw hammer. What am I doing? Upgrade this to iron. We're gonna grab what's in the forge. Oh, we have an entire portion here. <laughs> We have an entire portion here that we just never, uh, patched up properly. So let's do that real quick. Little fixer-upper, that's what it is. Get all of this taken care of. When is that damn potato gonna grow? I'm hoping we can at least get enough from this to, well, plant more instead of just breaking even. Might have to put points in the living off the land. We'll see. I do need more iron. Ah, well, after what we cooked previously, we have 74 on the way. And hopefully it'll start cooking relatively quickly. Hopefully. Yeah, we got one. We're gonna keep ten on us for the Horde Knight for repairing, well, not this, but the middle one. This is going to be our primary, well, health pool. Because I'm just a little bit paranoid, I'm going to seal up this little bit right here. Just a too high wall to keep the zombies from potentially, I don't know, spitting at that or something. Maybe a spider will jump over and wild out, do whatever spiders do. Can I reach this one right here? There we go. Just upgrade those. That should be enough, but I think... Yeah, we're gonna put one more block right here, just to keep the spiders from sneaking up on us. We could fill up the top here. Nah. For now, our hope is to basically bank on the concept of the zombies not surpassing this archway. That's the hope. Gonna fill up this top bit as well. Suppose we should do it in cobblestone. Go all the way. Do the same thing with these top blocks. Don't want the zombies trying to break through the top. The bars will leave as wood for now, and see how that goes. See if they prioritize hitting those over the hatches. Only time will tell. While we're here, repair everything that we can, which seemingly appears to be nothing. A little bit of the stairs here. You know what, let's make a second way up for them, like this. It's very simple, but it means that they have multiple paths to us. If they get angry enough to take out one of them, they have a second method to get here. Let's make one more and then get into our safety place. Prepare for the Horde Knight, which is right around the corner. Let's see how it goes. So far things are going relatively well. I think they are trying to beat that top block above the hatch. But it's not going too well for them. Because between the club damage perks and the one that increases my attack speed, 
I am actually keeping up surprisingly well <laughs> for an entire horde night just with a wooden club. Just have to be careful not to overuse my power attack. I forgot to drink water before the night began. I was too focused on making multiple sets of stairs. I also keep seeing bits of fire come up from, well, in front of this hatch. <laughs> Which means they're standing on top of my campfire down there. Randomly catching themselves on fire. It's convenient, I guess. I just hope they don't break it. Take a moment to repair this. Now, they almost had this cobblestone block down to half health. That's not good. Gotta repair my club. Stop crafting some of the cobblestone. I'm gonna reset that. And just get back to whaling. Just bonking strippers and janitors on the head. And tweakers. <laughs> this is actually surprisingly smooth for just a standard melee base. I think it was a good idea to make multiple sets of stairs. It's also definitely a good idea to invest in the swing speed of the club. It's going to be even better if I can upgrade to iron and remember to hydrate myself before the horde night. Yeah, there it is. I am thirsty. And I don't have any drinks on me. Pretty sure I don't have any in the chest either. So we're going to have to be very stingy with when I use the power attacks. It's a powerful tool, but overuse could make it so that I'll be sitting here incapable of attacking. That wouldn't be good. Not one bit. We can get just a second to breathe. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it now. Repair. Yeah. Headed almost halfway down with a block above the hatch. Not good. Definitely not good. But it's not seeming like a panic moment. I just need to remember to repair it. Take it a little bit more seriously than I normally do. Gotta love clubbing them in the face. Can't wait till I get the book that'll send them flying. It's one of the best parts of using the club. Every now and again, I try to approach the hatch to ensure that I'm properly baiting them. Ooh, I have a moment of silence. Let's repair this and everything else. Sure, that, that. The hatch is just fine. It's literally untouched. Take a moment to repair this. What the? Get that out of there. Get... No. No. Put the club in the four slot. What the heck? Chaos. Pure chaos. I have to mash power attack to fix this clog going on. Hey, get out of here, legless. Trying to climb into my house. That ain't how this works. If I let them stack up too much, they will start climbing on top of each other. Which means I might have to build this archway higher. Probably gotta build it higher. Well, we've made our way to almost 2400. Sounds like they just broke my campfire. Something busted that was wooden. I don't know what, but something. It really started to stack up here. This seems like it would be the second wave, roughly. I think there's supposed to be three actual waves throughout the Horde Night. There was a small moment of silence, so I think this would be the second one. I'm hungry, thirsty, and freezing. Uh-oh, it's starting to look a little beat up. Yep, about halfway. The rest of this is fine. This would have been far more manageable if I had simply eaten and drank beforehand. And they're definitely prioritizing the top block instead of the hatch. Especially considering they can climb on top of each other. But we're managing just fine. <laughs> Taking on Horde Knight with a wooden club. I mean, it's doing pretty well, all things considered. For a melee base, this is pretty tolerable. Pretty good chance of just bonking their head away, <laughs> like that, in a single hit. Moment of silence. Go ahead and just repair everything. I think. Let's go ahead and repair this too. Get that can of food, for sure. Now oh, we have a plaster cast. I'll put that in my chest. I think the night is officially over. Start crafting a little bit more cobblestone. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, let's put that plaster cast in here, and I guess the steroids for selling later. And the honey. Where did that come from? Oh, the potato has hit the growing phase. Wonderful. Wait a second. They were hitting this hatch. <laughs> the what? How does that work? They were hit what? But, but that's the one that... But, wait, but hold on. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just accept it. Works for me. Let's take a peek down here. It sounded like they broke a piece of wood, but I don't know which one. Is it over here? They were hitting this. I'll have to upgrade all this to cobblestone. Maybe that's what I'll do before the sun comes up. Tier 5 scrap booties. Don't mind if I do. It's a lot better than my padded ones. Another plaster cast. One forged steel. We'll keep that. Eat the food. Check the rest of this loot. <laughs> they keep burning to death on my campfire. And it's honestly awesome. Do I need to repair this thing? Huh? 
No, I guess not. What about my land claim block? It says it's inactive. Interesting. I can't pick it up or repair it either. So it's just a doomed land claim. I'll have to build another one and drop it down at some point. More cans of pasta. Well, we do need more food, so here we go. Steroids and painkillers. We'll probably be selling the painkillers. Bow hunters? Yeah, eventually I might use a crossbow. Could be useful. Or steroids. So many steroids. Let's see. The damage on the stairs. Around and above the campfire. Not too bad. Basically untouched. The single block that holds it all together. Perfectly fine. This one right next to the campfire they don't like. Which is fine. I don't mind them breaking that. As long as the bridge itself maintains and the different sets of stairs. Which are all also doing just fine. Basically untouched. The zombies don't even care about them. Let's go ahead and just go three high with cobblestone around the entire base. I don't see why not. This gets us more XP. And of course, increases the odds that the AI will do as we desire to. Bars. About to get a level up. Trying to keep an eye out for any of the blocks that are taking a lot of damage to figure out exactly what that wood breaking sound was. Because it wasn't any of the blocks over here. Also, I just leveled up. I have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with that point. Since we know there's no more zombies for the night, I should probably check that out now. Big and Fast is capped out. Until we get a cigar, we won't be putting a single point into strength from here on out. So, what do we do next? We're not doing perception. I guess intelligence to work towards the advanced engineering. The next goal being four intellect. There we go. And a point to lockpicking just to increase the rate at which we can get those wonderful Forge Ahead books. Now we get back to upgrading the base. The more levels we can sneak in before the next Horde night, the better. There was palpably more zombies at a single time during this Horde night. If we actually get 64 zombies packed up into that one spot, we're not going to do okay. Unless we can get enough electric traps to keep them from crowding together too much. Because they can stockpile to a point where they start shoving each other through hatches and upwards like four or five zombie heights, <laughs> like World War Z style. So you definitely want to make sure that they're spread out enough. They can't be on a single block like what we have now. We'll have to spread it out for sure. Then set up electric traps and poke them from a distance, preferably with a spear. As long as they're pinned down by electric traps, it can be done. And it can be quite manageable. But that's worries for the future. Right now, we don't have to think about that. I don't think it'll be a problem for, let's say, at least nine days. Day nine or ten, they might start stacking up like crazy. I've never really tested this before. This is actually the very first time I've done a horde night every night kind of thing. I've set it up before where it was once every three days, but <laughs> that didn't play out too well. It was also a Darkness Falls thing. I got bodied quickly. Also pondered the idea of doing a session or series where it's actually 24 hours <laughs> for each day, but it would be, you know, a horde night. So that means that the actual nighttime horde, this, the Blood Moon, would last for like six in-game hours. <laughs> it would be a little intense. Although we'd probably have to skip it to a further day or be high level beforehand, which wouldn't be too hard. We have 24 hours after all to do everything else, but if you're not high enough level and the game stage isn't high enough or far enough in the days, then you'll simply have an insanely long horde night that finishes super quick, kind of like this. But the higher level we get in this series, the more zombies we're going to get during the horde night. We're paying the price of our speed leveling in moments like this. There were a lot of zombies there. If I hadn't stopped to repair those cobblestone blocks above, they would have simply punched through. Oh, look at this. We're almost done. I didn't even notice. This will be the last little layer, and I've gotten exactly one level from upgrading all of this. We still have plenty of cobblestone, too. Am I still crafting cobblestone as well? No. Hmm. Looks like I'm missing clay. I might actually go and get myself some more iron. Oh, this block was damaged. So they like attacking right here. They hit the same spot on the other side. So it's kind of like the entryway there. They're looking at that as a weakness. Only a little bit. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Could just be their rage state. Not making sense. Could be. We'll see. As time moves on. But that is enough of the upgrading. Eh, perhaps. We'll go ahead and get this section up to cobblestone as well. The only thing we would do with this particular spot is simply make it go higher. If that became necessary. Which it might. We'll see. It's based on how high the demolishers can jump. Even if they can jump high, I think we can just add an extra layer to the outside of the base. 
and walls like this to stop them from doing anything too crazy. Speaking of which, we did see that the zombies were starting to climb on top of each other to- oh, they hit these corners. They were starting to climb on top of each other to a relatively uncomfortable point. Let's go ahead and hop up here, which means we should actually take this ceiling bit and raise it by I think at least two blocks. Seems like the proper response. Oh, I'm still thirsty. Crap. We'll fix that in a moment. But for now, we're raising this two blocks. I think it's probably for the best. We'll just stick with this for now because it's the actual entry point. The rest can more or less be ignored. But as long as this is high enough, they shouldn't be able to World War Z themselves into my base, climbing all over each other. They almost did it during this Horde night, which is why I'm doing this. A bit of retrospection is the last part here. Bada bing, bada boom. World War Z proof. Let's grab this block and come over here. Now there might be spiders in the next horde, so I think I'm actually going to make this wall come back here. And that was the morning ring-a-ding-dong. And with it, the end of episode 3 of the Horde Rush series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.